So I can stop reporting on Smash now, right? That's over? The Nintendo Community Fan Convention is just days away as of this recording, and I have no idea if we can meet our original build target. Some staff still haven't returned to duty, but those who have will be working up to the hour of release. I've been speaking with new freelancers about joining the effort as well. Until my hand heals, the only one getting any real work done is the boss himself. Uh, he's been busy tidying the chapters for a public release. I've mostly been messing with the script for the following release, which I hope to be the penultimate. But we all know how ambitious I can be. Now, in place of the backlog this week, I thought we'd do a special retrospective on The Thief. The Thief has a very special place in 7X history, and you can check the general progress of our efforts by the status of The Thief. As most of you know, FE7X began as an RPG Maker project, using imported sprites from FE7 and a whole lot of Ruby coding to make it do what it wanted. It was jury-rigged so that the cursor sprite could replace the main hero and the important data was stored in accessible locations like the actor database. Soon after this, we made a proof of concept build by inserting a real map and building the rest of the systems we would need to produce a playable chapter. Proper classes, battle animations, dialogue scenes, level up skills. Soon we released Trial Map 1 and after some public feedback, we moved on to Trial Map 2. We had a working engine and now began the process of filling it with data and streamlining it. The Thief was added once more, this time with an altered sprite and the changed gameplay mechanics we had previously designed in pre-production. With this, the game had taken its first definitive step away from the one which had inspired it. It had larger resolution, more detail, more complexity. The original Trial Map 2 was a snapshot of what we had initially envisioned, but it was unbalanced, brutally difficult, and unstable. One Thief was famous for trying to unlock an open chest until his pick would break. I hadn't yet come into my own as a writer, and the cutscenes were thick with needless chatter and overexposition. The RMXP engine was not optimized for this kind of gameplay, and the frame rate was constantly suffering. We fought frequently with the disruptive elements in our community, and on more than one occasion, this drama spilled over into other communities. Our first security scare was especially handled poorly. But through all this, we'd learned a lot. We rebuilt. We improved, we filled out more of the missing pieces. The release of our first Epi and XNA build marked our birth as a new team. Those who remained were adults now and experts in their field. There are few artists as talented as ours and few developers as dogged and capable. What followed feels like a blur, a rush of changes and growth. We rebalanced time and again, implementing new chapters, new characters, new mechanics. With each new growth, we would trim what had come before, shedding unnecessary complexity and distilling the product. Now the Thief has had their previously arcane rule set stripped to a more simplified version, and has been bug tested extensively. Still a ways to go. We caught one trying to steal from a door last week. But soon enough, the Rogue will be implemented, have their flint frames brighted, and sure enough, Crash the game one last time trying to use their mastery skill wrong. Johnny.